Hello students, it's Mr. Roderick here in the Music Bunker. This week in music, we're learning some songs written by the famous American songwriter Woody Guthrie. Woody lived a long time ago. You know, it's really fun to study things that happened in our country's past. I love looking at old photographs and pictures and old movies. Things were different back then. No computers, no cell phones, not even a television set. But even though things were different, people were the same. Woody Guthrie's songs are still fun to sing. They stick in your head. And they still have a lot of meaning for us today. Let's take a trip back and in time and learn about Woody Guthrie and his music. Woodrow Wilson Guthrie was born on July 14, 1912 in Okema, Oklahoma. Woody had a childhood filled with music, family, and friends, but he also went through some tough times. His older sister died, he had a terrible house fire, they lost the family fortune, and later Woody's mother got sick and passed away from a disease called Huntington's disease. In 1920, oil was discovered and Okema was an oil boom town, filled with oil workers, gamblers, and hustlers, but the oil boom disappeared as quickly as it came leaving the little town busted, disgusted, and not to be trusted. So in 1931, Woody left o o Okema and headed out onto the open road. Woody ended up in the Gray County, Texas panhandle town of Pampa, where he fell in love with Mary Jennings. Woody and Mary were married in 1933, and together they had three children. Woody started playing music with his father-in-law at that time. During this time, our country was in the midst of the Great Depression. It was hard to find work. When the Dust Bowl hit in the Great Plains in 1935, it made it impossible. Parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, Tennessee, and Georgia suffered a great drought winds blew up clouds of dust which covered the land. Crops dried up. Farmers couldn't make a living. People were hungry. In Pampa, the big dust storm hit on April 14, 1935. People wondered if it was the end of the world. They ran to their homes, sat quietly and sang songs. It was really scary. After the dust storm, folks couldn't stay there anymore. Woody, like hundreds of Dust Bowl refugees, had to pack up their trucks, leave home, and travel down that famous highway called Route 66, looking for work in California. As they left home, they said, so long, it's been good to know ya. A famous song about that experience, and here it is. I've sung this song, and I'll sing it again, of the place where I lived, on the wild windy plain, in a month called April, a county called Gray, and here's what all of the people there say. They said, so long, it's been good to know you, so long. It's been good to know ya, so long it's been good to know ya. This dusty old dust is a get my home. I've got to be moving along. A dust storm hit, and it hit like thunder. It dusted us over and covered us under. It blocked out the traffic and blocked out the sun and straight for home all the people did run. They said, so long, it's been good to know ya. So long, it's been good to know ya. So long, it's been good to know ya. This dusty old dust is a get my home. I've got to be moving along. 
we talked of the end of the world and then we'd sing a song and sing it again we'd sit for an hour and not say a word and then these words would be heard we said so long it's been good to know you so long it's been good to know you so long it's been good to know ya this dusty old dust is a getting my home i've got to be moving along woody arrived in california in 1937. many californians did not welcome the so-called ooky outsiders woody experienced a lot of persecution there but in Los Angeles, Woody landed a job on the radio, singing old-time and original songs. The Okies, who lived in cardboard and tin shelter camps around California, tuned in and listened. But lots of other people started listening to Woody's music, too. Woody was a restless soul. He moved from California to New York and the island of Manhattan in 1940. He started performing and recording songs. His music was gaining a lot of popularity. In New York, Woody wrote his most famous song, This Land is Your Land. He wrote it about the beautiful places in our country, the redwood forests of California, the Gulf Stream waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Woody knew that this land belonged to all of us. He was also proud of national parks that dotted this great land. And here's a song called This Land is Your Land. This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. As I was walking that ribbon of highway, I saw above me that endless skyway, I saw below me that golden valley. This land was made for you and me. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. I've roamed and rambled and I've followed my footsteps. From the sparkling sands of her diamond deserts. And all around me a voice was sounding. This land was made for you and me. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. When the sun comes shining and I was strolling. And the wheat fields waving, and the dust clouds rolling. As the fog was lifting, a voice was chanting. This land was made for you and me. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. This land was made for you and me. But he couldn't stay in one place for long. He got tired of the New York music scene and moved his family to Portland, Oregon in 1941, where the Bonneville Power Administration hired Woody to write songs for a documentary film about the building of a new Grand Coulee Dam on the mighty Columbia River. The Columbia River is the biggest river in the Pacific Northwest, as we know. Part of the river is the border between our state of Washington and our southern neighbor state, Oregon. Woody fell in love with the Pacific Northwest and Washington State. Here's what he said about us. The Pacific Northwest is one of my favorite spots in this world, and I'm one walker that stood away up and looked away down across a plenty of pretty sights in all their veiled and nakedest seasons. Woody's most famous songs is about the Columbia River, 
and how it starts way up in Canada and runs through the wild mountains and canyons and the Douglas fir forests up there, then travels into Washington State, going through Cooley City, where they built the Grand Cooley Dam. The river keeps going, getting bigger as other rivers flow into it. Our own Yakima River, the Snake River, Klickitat, Sandy, Willamette, Hood River, and many others. The song talks about the bond of the locks that allow ships to travel up the river past the dam by piloting the ship into a little gated channel and raising the water level to the level behind the dam. You have to see it to believe it. And of course, the song talks about the Grand Coulee Dam. They started building the dam in 1933, but it wasn't completed until 1942. Back then, it was the biggest thing that mankind had ever built, bringing electricity and irrigation water to our whole area here in central Washington. It's the biggest electrical power station in the world, and it is a sight to see. Green Douglas fir, where the waters cut through, down her wild mountains and canyons she flew, Canadian Northwest to the ocean so blue. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Your power is turning our darkness to dawn. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Many great rivers add power to you. Yakima Snake and the Klickitat too. Sandy Willamette and the Hood River too. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Your power is turning our darkness to dawn. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. At Bonneville now there are ships in the locks. The water has risen and covered the rocks. Shiploads of plenty are soon past the docks. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Your power is turning our darkness to dawn. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. And on up the river is the Grand Coulee Dam, the biggest thing built by the hand of a man to run the great factories and water the land. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Your power is turning our darkness to dawn. Roll on, Columbia, roll on. Well, there go my dog. Woody's constant traveling and radical political views finally broke up his first marriage. Woody remarried and had four more children, including Arlo Guthrie, who later became a famous songwriter, too. In 1942, the United States started fighting World War II. Woody joined the Army and the Merchant Marines. He wrote songs and stories to help the war effort. He put a sticker on his guitar that read, This Machine Kills Fascists. After the war, Woody kept writing songs, especially songs for children, including this one. Take me for a ride in your car, car. Take me for a ride in your car, car. Take me for a ride, take me for a ride. Take me for a ride in your car, car. Woody got in trouble with his outspoken opinions about politics, but then he started getting sick. He had developed Huntington's disease, as his mother did before him. He had to go to the hospital. While he was in the hospital, he was visited by family and people who loved him and honored his work. He died on October 3rd, 1967. In his life, Woody Guthrie wrote nearly 3,000 songs, two novels, and created many paintings, poems, and plays. He was an American icon.